Hey Internet, today's topic is RuneScape, it's more of a showcase of the game because it's on Steam now. Um, on your left you can see my Word document of all my goals and plans and on your right um, you will see the game, I will um, full screen it in a second. Um, so. I am a veteran player, casual. Um, I have been playing for 15 years, as shown by the cape. If I talk to this guy, he will tell me how long I've been playing. And I have been playing for 595 days, um, 10 hours, 9 minutes, which it's like, what, three years in members and then 5,582 days so okay five five thousand five hundred and eighty two days to years so about 15 years so 15 years in a third okay um, so also shout out to my cousin who gave me three months of membership as a graduation gift. Spoilers for the video in the future. Um, it's not official yet, but they kind of sent me the letter, but I'm still waiting on my grades. So it's not official that I graduate, but it's kind of like, it's basically they're telling me I graduated, but they just like want to make sure it's official with all the grades being fully graded. Okay, um, so yeah, minor spoilers for a future video. Um, so as you can tell, I'm, uh, so, yep, I'm a veteran, um, so my goals are to reach this new skill, um, which was released during the first pandemic, which gave a lot of people a chance to play RuneScape, and now it's on Steam, so a lot more people play it. Um, so I haven't got this to 120 yet, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, in real life, I'm looking for like an engineering job so that takes precedent and you know I'm doing other things like I'm learning how to edit um, YouTube videos now because I got a lot more time um, yeah I mean I just play these games because well because I can I just make content for, for it um, you'll notice that uh, I'm a lot more serious when it comes to RuneScape than compared to like Overwatch or Genshin Impact, like for Genshin I just, you know, play one or two hours and just kind of explore the world and have fun. But with this, like, I fully meticulously plan it as you can see on my um, Microsoft Word. I, I've got all this stuff that, so I got my end goal of 120, that's my first target. And then from there I need these things to make it more efficient. And yes, I'm actually using my engineering degree that the advanced operation management paper I'm putting it to use so resource management time management efficiency calculations I'm putting all that into the like Microsoft Word so this is like like my roadmap my layout so I have a pl ac plan of action I have a target so what I want to do um, yeah some other goals 120 farming I'm so close but um, levels well it's experience in this game grows by exponentially so you're saying you want to be 120 but you're already 75 so you're so close actually I'm like 13 or 20 times away so so just for the record I've started playing with this membership um, that my cousin gave shout out again um, it's not a lot of money I mean it's like $36 for like three months it's not that bad but, you know, still, money's money, and he kind of gave it to me as a gift, so I'm going to use it as, I'm not going to waste it and just actually use it. Uh, I started on Monday, so from level 1 to level 75, it's not that bad. It's like a decent 5 day, maybe like 3, 4 hours each day, so maybe about 20 hours, not that bad. So the grind isn't that bad, but 
when I say 20 times, so I got to do this another 20 times. So 20 times another 20. So that's about 400 hours of gameplay to get to 120. So that's like a lot of time. And I don't know if I can do that because like I'm looking for a full time job, like I said, and that's more important because bills are, you know, you got to pay the bills. Um, yeah, uh, I'm actually, even though I'm a late game in game player, I'm like broke. Like, as you can see, I only got 13 mil and like, I'm sure most of you guys don't know the economy in RuneScape. Like, okay, one or two mil, eh, like, okay, actually a better example is, okay, this is a good example. So one of my goals is to get the brooch of the gods. Um, this will help me reach 120 archaeology, um, but so this is a good example. So most items cost around about, you know, they're quite cheap, like 15,000 gold, right? But then you got like these high-end things that cost like 140 million. So like if I'm a so if I'm a PVMer, like you can easily make 500 mil or like that in a week. But since I don't like killing bosses, I'm more of like a skiller in this game. It takes me a long time to get money. Well, gold, sorry. Because, like, if you say money in this game, it actually means real money. And, like, you can, like, buy cosmetics and stuff in the game, but I don't do that. I mean, like, you're already paying, like, um, a membership fee, for, like, to play the game per month, right? So, that's already good enough. They're already getting money out of me. So, well, not me, from my cousin kind of gifted me the membership so yeah always be thankful um yeah so my end goal is trying to get this item right now uh which okay it's about 66 mil and then i'll have to because you know when you're a broke person like if you can't afford it you gotta make it yourself kind of thing like i guess that's how i apply it in real life as well if i can't buy it well if i can't afford it and I have to make it. Uh, maybe I should shift that mindset away since, you know, I'm getting, well, hopefully, praise be, um, find a good engineering job and live a good life. Um, anyways, uh, let's play the game. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, uh, so yeah, I talked about the veteran's cape and stuff. I guess I'll do the emote. Um, why not? So, yeah, not that spectacular. Um, so you're probably wondering, why are you playing RuneScape with such bad graphics? So this is the lowest graphics on, um, because I'm trying to maximize my efficiency. I'm trying to reduce lag and things like that. Um, yeah. So like with Genshin Impact, I've got it on like medium to high specs, because it's a visual game. You like to explore and see things, like how beautiful they are, right? And in Overwatch, you kind of need like medium specs because you need to know what's going on. Like there is like a hundred different things happening in Overwatch. Like you got so many people's abilities and so many like things to look out for. Um, yeah, but with this, I would say Rootscape is like a task simulator. That's what the game is. It gives you a task and you can do it. I mean, it's open world and you can make your own decisions, but basically, you got your own goals, but you just make your um, stuff. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to do a little bit of material gathering. Um, oh, okay. Uh, well, I guess I can talk. So since I talked about how broke I am, I guess I can tell you what my net worth is. Um, I am worth 1.8 bill. I mean, that sounds a lot, which kinda is, but mm, in this game, like, people's got, like, hundreds of billions and maybe a few trillion or two, so, and it, that's not inflated, like, most people have, like, a good 20, 30 mil, like, no, that's, like, really good for them, um, so I only got a 13 mil cash stack, so I'm not, like, rich. In this game um, far from it I'm like the brokers of the broke for well in terms of like a in-game late player I am like the lowest 
right? Because for late game players, you PVM, you like, you kill the bosses and they give like high drops. Um, speaking of that, so I'm not wearing anything particularly <clears throat> interesting. Um, just Grace of the Elves and Luck of the Dwarves. So when you, so when you combine them together, um, you have a one in six million chance of getting um, like a legendary ring and this ring doubles like drops from um, monsters but so you're probably wondering since I don't like PVM why do I need well there's a skill called Slayer which is like just mobs like little monsters that you can kill and that will double your drop so I mean one in six million chance it's so low but you know why not because like you can only get it through gathering skills so like your scaling skills basically not like your combat skills so it's a perfect opportunity um what's the ring called hell's mere singlet ring it is 1.6 billion so really expensive it's a good ability i get this from oh, it's a good item uh, and it also acts as a luck of the wolf so it gives you um luck chance as well so that's always nice uh Okay, what am I going to do? I should have planned this out a little bit more. I did try to plan it out, but um, didn't quite work out that way. Okay, uh, I do need to gather materials. And I'll gather materials, I'll do some artifacts and things. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, this game is just click and wait. Click and then repeat. That's what this game is. Um, so the max skill for regular skills is 99, but you can go past that with virtual levels, um, for Herblore, Farming, Slayer, you can go up to 120, and same for Dungeoneering, um, Invention, and Archaeology, they go up to 120. Um, so, you know, I've been around the block, it's, like, you can see, like, my skills are max, well, most of them max, w with the exception of the herb lore, because you gotta be, like, a billionaire, a multi-billionaire to, um, make potions, basically, because it's so expensive. Um, Slayer, uh, since I'm a ghetto player, my gear's not great, so... I don't really, like, when I do Slayer, it's, it takes a lot of time for me. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna fix some artifacts, or restore some. Okay. Uh, we'll go here. I think that's a good place. Um, so, I would say invention really saved the game it put like new life into old forgotten items that no one used so it gave them a purpose again so that really saved the game uh, and its economy i guess same with archaeology like you need to use old items to unlock certain things so okay uh so this is my bank um it's quite messy. This is my general. It's a whole bunch of random stuff. Uh, I don't know why I've got so many of these. Actually, back in the day, we had random events that prevented bots from doing bot things. So, yeah, I got so many of these random costumes. Um, horses. I don't know. I just got 12 of the horses. Um, yeah, uh, as much as I want to talk about my bank, um, it's just random junk, to be honest. Seeds for farming, um, gemstones, because um, if you're lucky, you might see a um, siren spirit, which has the one in six million chance that I've talked about. Um, yeah, just, you know, random stuff, food stuff. Um, so that's my combat gear. Uh, what's my most expensive stuff? Uh, it would be this, would be my masterwork 
armor. Surprisingly, that, I mean, this is like 500 mil, but that's beside the point. Like, this is a level 70 gear power armor, but like at that level, it does the same damage as this, basically. So, I mean, in this game, for combat, weapons is priority number one. And once you reach the level 70 power armor, you don't actually need to upgrade to masterwork. And then, yeah, like perks, like those are like your socketed things, as you can see um, over there. Uh, yeah, they really drain your cash. Like, it costs maybe like 5 mil for like a good perk. And then like, there's always a chance of failing. And yeah, it's a good way to burn money. Well, gold, uh, sorry. Real money in this game is like, so, okay, the micro sections. So you would be like um, this um, Solomon store and you buy the, what they call fashion scape. You buy cosmetics to look pretty and things. But I'm not about that life. Um, yep, so that's my melee tab, magic tab. Um, again, not the best gear in the world, range, yeah, uh, um, miscellaneous, um, that's my player on farm, I guess we can go there, maybe, uh, more random stuff that I don't actually know, um, I tried attempting doing bossing, that's why I've got these keys for like, um, legionnaires, but, yeah, I don't like bossing. I barely tolerate Slayer, to be honest. Um, fishing tab, and hunting, and what else? Uh, fire making? Wood cutting? Yes? No? Uh, we'll just call that a random gatherer's tab. Um, that's my herb law, and farming. Herb law and farming, yep. Uh, yeah. I want to get to 119 farming so I can get a money seed tree, like, they give you 1 mil per day, which is great, well, that's like small fries in, in the overall game, um, things when you can make billions, like, probably 500 mil a day if you, like, really went out bossing. Um, this is my skill cape, so every skill I max, I, it's a tradition for me that I just, like, save the capes in my bank and waste bank space. Um, normally you would put these in your player own house. Um, yeah, we can do that. I can show you my houses, uh, my player PHO. Uh, my clue scroll, um, I'm going to make a video about that. So I'm going to try and like solve all of them and then do a video or like solve each section. So easy, medium, hard, elite. Um, I have never done masters, so... Um, probably won't do masters. Uh, this is my archaeology tab. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so I need one of these. Got two spears. Javelins. Oh, the javelins. My bad. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's restore this. Yes, one. Maybe I'll get a Siren Spirit and hopefully and pray that 1.6, oh, oh, nothing, okay, it gave me something, oh, an archaeology task, reward, that's cool, um, I'll do that, and then I guess I'll show you my player own house, okay, so we're going to go to Perdiphanus, the elf city. Uh, yep. I mean, that's just the fashion teleport, I guess. Um, yeah, it's so white. Uh, I could turn this on full graphics and make it look good, but... Okay. Cool. Got some free XP. And now I get a treasure hunter key. So this is the, like the microtransactions, like, um, so obviously you can do this in game.
um, like by doing tasks and things. But you can also buy keys to unlock chests, which is like the RNG micro transaction. And it's not pay to play, you literally need to spend thousands to be like pay to win. Oh, sorry, it is pay to play, it's not pay to win because you need to spend thousands of dollars. Um, yeah, but you can just get a task and it'll give you a key and try your luck. So obviously you're going to get bad rolls like this, um, but at least you get to choose. And I'm going to go for this because I need the XP for archaeology. Okay. Um, I'll show you my house. It's nothing special. It's very broke because I am so ghetto. I guess that's like my real life translating into this MMO. Um, yeah, you know, real life mentality kind of just um, gets portrayed in this game as well. I guess that mindset haven't really changed it. Um, yeah, this is my house, um, Demon Butler, I don't use him because he costs like 50k per use, so I'm broke. Um, like, as long as you got a bed, he's, he gets to live in your house, so that's cool. Um, yeah, nothing special, workshop, next to the kitchen, um, prayer altar, because, yeah, for convenience, I kind of laid it out, so like, where things are needed to be so if you need to restore prayer you just like go to your house and um, thing um, there's obviously a quick teleport um, I just went to um, the long way because it was just where the task um, challenge was like the daily challenge uh, yep yeah. oh you saw a howcat okay I guess I can talk about pets um, uh, I mean most of them aren't really rare, like, I think the rarest ones I've got are the Phoenix Iglings, good and bad. They're like 1 in 10,000 chance drop rate, so pretty rare. Uh, what other pets? Um, I think 1 in, like, these skilling pets, they're like 1 in a million or something really low like one in two million so i don't know i got really lucky um with these so this is the archaeology pit so i got that at level 74 um yeah so it was like um 10 to the minus 4.1 percent chance so really low so i got really lucky with these um pits um that one uh oh, it's hp uh, mining, um, invention, um, so all of these are like really low percentages, so less than 1% chance, so those are the real ones, which again, I got really lucky, um, yeah, uh, these ones in my menagerie, uh, they're just random ones I picked up either from quests or, um, summoning, yeah, so when you summon, you can own pets. Um, yeah, but this one took the longest because you can only do it once a day. And then every day, you've got 1 in 10,000 chance of getting them. And so it's pretty hard to get. Uh, yeah. Uh, what other goals can I talk about? Uh, okay. I guess we can go back to the... Um, so yeah, as I was talking about, Brooch of the Guards, so fortunate, that's what the Clue Scroll video is going to be, Elder Urns, uh, they're not important, like you can, you saw the price there, like 15k, Gold Leaf, not important, they're easily bought, uh, yeah, okay, Hydrix, because I don't PVM, I have to buy it on the Grand Exchange, yeah, I can show you that, um, Grand Exchange is like the auction house, um, for those that you don't play, um, it's like an auction house in other MMO RPGs. So this is Surge. I can double Surge due to unlocking it. 
Um, yeah, I missed my mark. I was actually meant to go here. Um, but yeah, this is like the auction house for everyone where everyone can trade. These are real players. Uh, that's a random pet. Oh, pet? No? Uh, familiar? Anyways, um, yeah, so let's say Brooch of the Gods which I can't afford because it's hella expensive. 141 million. Oof, hella expensive. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yep. Is there anything else I wanna talk about? Uh, so that's all my plans right there. So that's for one plan. Um, yeah, tools, uh-huh. So basically the rundown is um, this episode's going to be called Road to Brooch of the Gods because this is my main target. Um, yeah, and other things like getting 68 archaeology, which I have, um, just for a little bit money making. Um, it's just like room crafting, but doing it the dangerous way. So, I mean, nobody really PKs in this game because um, you go to old school RuneScape if you want to like go PKing. Uh, but I can't unlock it, unlock the money making way, even though I got the level until I reach. Uh, is it this thing? Nope, it's the other thing. Uh, so I need to unlock associate. So, how much I gotta restore? I gotta restore 250, I'm at 85, so it's gonna be a long time. And I need to excavate 250, 1168, so yeah. Yep, definitely a long ass time. Uh huh. Um, what other things do I wanna talk about? 120 farming, you already know. 120 slayer, you already know. Herb law, you know. Completionist cape, uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, at this point, I'm not really caring for it, like, I don't think I got the time, because once I get a full-time job, hopefully, please, um, you know, I'm actively applying for jobs, but no luck yet, but yeah, I mean, definitely aiming for a completionist cape, uh, so, yeah, definitely aiming for max and a completionist cape, but I don't think I got time for that. Um, quests, I got a few quests to do, but they involve combat, and I just generally just hate combat. Um, yeah, okay, I think I'm running out of things to say, to be honest. Skilling pits, yeah, just pray for RNG, because it's just so low. Um, perks, yep, so if I was a billionaire, yes, but no, um, because all these perks, they cost literally millions, tens of millions even, and it's not even a guaranteed chance, it's like 77% chance, or like, if you're really unlucky, a 1% chance, or less than 1%, so I need to be super rich to do that, but that's like a super end game, so that's why it's at the bottom of the list. Um, yeah, so first goal, 120, and then this episode is Broach, Road to Broach of the Gods. Okay, is there anything else I want to show you? Um, oh yeah, these cost 500 mil each, so you need 1.5 mil, and they're like the late game prayers, which I kind of want, but too broke to afford them. Um, oh yeah, uh, I got invited into a clan. So it's like an invite only for veteran players. Um, yeah, we're called Dunk, um, Dunkin' Donuts. No copyright, please. Um, yeah, uh, just veteran players, just super chill. Um, yeah, uh, but they don't really talk um, that often. I mean, they say congrats to me for getting the 15 year cape. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I think that's um, the video today. I think that's a good long video. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, 
share with your friends, ring the bell, and comment. Also turn on all notifications. Oh, um, the engineering guys, um, don't worry, I'll make more engineering videos. I'm just showcasing RuneScape because it's on Steam. So, starting next video, I'll make more engineering videos. Okay, until next time, see ya!